So I'm here with uh, Pierce Johnson and Jonathan Pond. And uh, Pierce is, uh, spends a lot of his time with food and stuff and is kind of a uh, self-appointed expert in provisioning boats and getting food ready for our trip going up to uh, San Diego from Cabo San Lucas. So Pierce, we're looking at uh, a crew of five people and probably five or six days of sailing. How do you, how do you plan for that? Well, you have to first look at um, how much food to bring for each, what each person's um, sort of daily requirements are for calories. And on a boat, people burn more calories than they do sitting in front of a TV because the boat's always in motion and the people are always trying to balance and keep upright. So typically it's 2,800 calories per day. So you start with that as what you need to um, have for food each day. And then you try and vary the, uh, the taste of the food so that it doesn't become the same boring thing day after day. Uh, it's important not to have too many uh, spicy foods because at sea people do not react well to spices. Uh, and it's also important not to have too fatty foods because people are also sensitive about that. But within, with those two you know, major categories, um, of things that you can't do. There's lots of things that you can do. Pasta works well, uh, uh, veg vegetables work very well, and uh, it's important to have a good balance of different things so that you get all of the nutrition that you need to be healthy. So when, um, uh, so people are burning up these calories and stuff like that, and so you you, you kind of have to have a variation because each body is a little different, isn't it? And, and so some people might burn more and some people might burn less. And, the, and throughout Hall of Life, you, you don't want to take in more calories than you burn or else you, 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 you gain weight and become unhealthy, right? Exactly. Yeah. And there's some people who are naturally bigger and taller and people who are more active and thin. And um, they may uh, eat different portion sizes, so it's important to keep the portion sizes reasonable for the people who don't eat that much, but also that uh, the people that are bigger and uh, need more calories uh, can have a good, are full at the end of their meal. Yeah, so Jonathan, what types of, like, I know yesterday we were talking, we, we were talking about some grab foods that you can grab real quick and fruits and stuff like that, but what, what kind of stuff do you like to... How do you like to structure your eating on a, on a boat for a long trip like that? I tend to be more light, you know, not such heavy foods, something that's easy and quick to, you know, get a handful of or an olive bar or an apple or an orange or something that's got some sugar to it that'll give me a little bit of energy but and kind of, you know, wake me up. And maybe some chocolates or something, some caffeine, something that's got some natural zig to it. To, Keep you going keep through the night going, and so yeah. You know, keep me yeah. You know, focused. Well, everybody knows I like cookies. Yes. <laughs> but I, uh, like you say, you know, we, we try to keep the keep a balanced diet so you get nutrition all the way around, and and um, I, I try not to eat too many cookies so I don't don't put on too many calories. But fruits and vegetables are always a, a good uh, thing they, between. Uh, the fruits having the natural sugars as opposed to artificial sugars uh, that are in candy bars. And the vegetables uh, give you some feeling of being full without actually adding a lot of calories to it. So it can really be a good way to, of, of staying healthy that way too. So what do the whales eat? <laughs> ah, <laughs> whales don't have as varied diet as, as we do. They eat mostly plankton and krill. And uh, so krill are like real small little shrimp and stuff, huh? Yeah, yeah. tiny shrimp. Yeah, they, so. they and you, them out. and the, the way they gather that, is, I, as I understand, when you see them, you know, shoot up through the water with their mouths open, they kind of filter the, the water and grab a whole mouthful of uh, small stuff, huh? And they have, giant sieve, basically. Yeah. They have the, their teeth are like uh, sieves that uh, then strain the, the krill out of the water or the plankton out of the water, and they get a mouthful of that. But we've been uh, here for several days and we've seen probably five or six whales and uh, m uh, mother whales with their baby calves. It's uh, very, very interesting. That's cool. Maybe we'll see some of that on the way up. We'll see them actually feeding themselves and that type of thing. Well, great. Thanks a lot, man. And, and uh, we got some grocery shopping to do here. So we'll be off here a bit to go provision the boat. They're just about coming in. Just about to finish the race here in a couple hours. So. Sounds good. Let's great. do it. Yep. Great. All righty.